It's 7 p.m. in Paris, and this is what happened for the past 12 hours. We are Bernard and Weedy. A year ago, we quit our jobs and started traveling full time. Join us as we scour the world for amazing street food, serving up glamping style, and getting lost in all of the adventures. Here's to sharing those travel secrets and living the off-beaten path. This is Explore As We Go. starving because I only had a sandwich this morning and I'm just craving for some rice some hot rice hot rice and we just found like a Korean place that's near a hotel 20 minute walk it's a little cold here in Paris that we kind of not anticipated <laughs> Alright, so we're walking and right now is like rush hour. Everyone is out. All the streets are filled with cars and people. And everyone's so chic down here. <laughs> we realize that the Paris time it starts much later. Like the restaurants don't open until 7, 7.30. And on top of that, they just take their time. Everyone's kind of just moving at a at a slower pace and it's very relaxed and it's kind of nice. There's like a very cool and relaxed feel about the Parisian. All right, we're almost to our restaurant and then we're gonna go eat. Let's go. Has literally like one table. <laughs> it's like a bar slash restaurant kind of, but uh, they serve like authentic like Korean food, like bibimbap, jjigae, yeah, sushi. Yeah. So everything I'm craving for right now. Yeah. So we got some hot soup, fried chicken, and a rice bowl. So this should be really, really exciting. Everything looks delicious and smells great. So we are so excited to dig in. That was so satisfying. I mean, we're having Korean food in Paris and the, the flavors definitely do not compromise and it was so good. So excited to be here and try different stuff. So let's keep exploring. Good morning. So today, Bernard and I have something planned uh, that's super, super awesome because we love doing this everywhere we go. <laughs> we have booked a free walking tour of Montmartre in Paris. And it should be about two hours where they take us around, 
we get to see the Moulin Rouge and we're actually in the Moulin Rouge right down here yes the Moulin Rouge is right behind us and uh, we get to you know learn a little bit about the history and what happens around this area so we're super excited the walking tour is right behind us we just had uh, breakfast this morning so we're ready energized we have our coffee and tea so we are ready to go on this tour you ready cheers we began our tour marveling the famous Moulin Rouge and then making our way down the romantic cobblestone streets of Mama. Here you will find many cafes, restaurants, and pastry shops. Once coined as the artist village of Paris, famous painters such as Picasso and Van Gogh called home. Historically, Maman was always a working class neighborhood which attracted plenty of artists to settle here. When you're in Maman, you will see many colorful historical houses, street art, and graffiti splashed on every corner. Our first official stop was the Wall of Love a mural erected in 2000 which features I love you in 250 languages. Our next stop was Le Maison Rose, which translates to the pink house. Despite being named the pink house, it was not always pink. The house is over 100 years old and serve as the HQ for many artists to gather and exchange ideas. Our final stop was the Sacre Coeur, which sits on the highest point of the hill in Mama. Meaning Sacred Heart, this romantic basilica had impressive architecture and attracted many lovebirds. Despite its lovely name, there was controversy behind its history. Sakaka has many stairs and holds the best vantage point to see all of Paris. Wow, I feel like we're on top of the world right now. So beautiful. There is the Paris backdrop right behind us, or technically in front of us. We're at the highest point in the land of Paris right now, or the city of Paris. And this church just has all the light overseeing the entire landscape of the city. Uh, there are a lot of uh, locks on like the fences around here, so Paris is known for the city of love and there's definitely a lot of that going around. People embracing each other, kissing, and uh, you know, listening to beautiful music. Serenading, that's the word. Yes, serenading all <laughs> of us. I just can't believe we're here. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished our two hour walking tour and it ended at the Sacre Coeur. Sacre Coeur. <laughs> um, and now we are in the center of Montmartre, which has a lot of restaurants and little shops um, for souvenirs. Um, it's a really, really beautiful street. Uh, there's a lot of people walking right now. It's, it is lunchtime, so we're going to find some food. I know how to pronounce this name. So last night we ordered um, this Turkish wrap, and it was like the best thing ever, like ever, tasted in my life. So it's so good that we're coming back for seconds. I'm so excited for it.
juice. Oh my god, it's piping hot. Because yesterday when I brought it back to the hotel, it was still like cold. I mean, it was still hot, but it's piping hot right now. Oh my god. Okay, so as B said, we had this last night. So I'm excited to eat it fresh. Um, you just saw them make it. They like grilled the chicken um, and then they put like lettuce and peppers and tomatoes and whatever greens in there, parsley, and it's, it smells amazing. So here we go. Wow. This is a totally different experience when it's like made fresh. Um, definitely try it out. Um, it's a nice little wrap restaurant. <clears throat> Turkish style that's near Garl the East, so like walking distance. Um, there's a line out the door as you can see and people are just waiting to get their wraps. Um, they're ranging between like 6 euros to about 10. Um, and it's super delicious, so when you're in Paris, definitely try it out. Cheers.